Pancreatic cancer is one of the most challenging cancers we deal with in oncology. And for patients whose tumors are in the head of the pancreas, the most well-known operation is the Whipple procedure. It is considered one of the most complex surgeries in the abdomen, but also one of the most rewarding as it offers the best chance of long-term survival. So what exactly does the Whipple procedure involve? Why is it so complex and how does it help patients? Let's break it down step by step. Hello. I am Dr. Kaival, a GI and HPB surgical oncologist. My practice focuses on cancers of the pancreas, liver, bile ducts and the peritoneum. In this video, I'll explain the Whipple procedure, what parts of the body are removed, how we reconnect everything, why is it considered so challenging and what patients can expect afterwards. The Whipple procedure or pancreaticoduodenectomy is a surgery where the head of the pancreas that is the part where most pancreatic tumors occur is removed along with several neighboring structures the duodenum which is the first part of the small intestine a portion of the bile duct which drains bile from the liver the gallbladder and sometimes a portion of the stomach depending on the type of whipple operation performed these organs sit very closely together sharing blood vessels and ducts that is why they need to be removed together when a tumor arises in the pancreas head the whipple is performed primarily for cancers of the head of the pancreas and also for periampullary tumors which include certain bile duct and duodenal cancers for patients diagnosed early this surgery is a potentially curative option it is the gold standard treatment for localized pancreatic head tumors before removing anything the surgeons first confirm that the tumor hasn't spread to other organs this may be done either after opening the abdomen or in many cases with a staging laparoscopy that is a keyhole to look inside the abdomen before committing to the full operation if the disease is localized we proceed with removal of the head of the pancreas the duodenum bile duct gallbladder and sometimes a part of the stomach once those organs are removed the challenge is to rebuild the digestive system so food and digestive juices can flow normally three major connections are made the pancreas remnant is joined to the small intestine so digestive enzymes can enter the gut the bile duct is attached to the intestine to allow bile drainage from the liver and the stomach or in some cases the remaining duodenum is connected to the intestine so food can pass through again think of it like rerouting traffic after major road work three highways need to be reconnected for the system to work smoothly importantly the joint between the pancreas and the intestine is considered the most technically challenging part of this entire surgery and it plays a major role in determining patient outcomes there are three key reasons one anatomy the pancreas is deep inside the abdomen right next to major blood vessels like the portal vein and the superior mesenteric artery operating here demands extreme precision two reconstruction making three new joints is not just delicate work they must all heal perfectly a leak especially from the pancreas joint can cause a pancreatic fistula that is leakage of pancreatic juice into the abdomen which is one of the biggest risk and determinants of recovery three the recovery because of the surgery scale recovery takes longer patients need careful monitoring advanced icu support and a multidisciplinary team there are two main types the classical whipple where a part of the stomach is removed along with the duodenum and a pylorus preserving whipple where the stomach is preserved allowing for a more normal digestion the choice depends on the tumor's location and the surgeon's judgment like any major surgery the whipple has risks the main ones include pancreatic fistula that is leakage of pancreatic juices at the joint with the intestine a major determinant of the outcome delayed gastric emptying when the stomach takes longer to work again infections or bleeding most of these can be managed with modern techniques and interventional radiology support but they do prolong the recovery patients typically spend about 7 to 10 days in hospital sometimes even longer if complications occur full recovery can take weeks to months during which nutrition enzyme supplements strength building and follow up 
care are critical. While the Whipple is not an easy surgery, it offers the best chance of long-term survival for patients with localized pancreatic head cancer. Life afterward may involve adjustments, eating smaller, more frequent meals, sometimes taking enzyme supplements to help with digestion, a regular follow-up visit for blood tests as well as scans, but with proper care, many patients return to a good quality of life. To summarize, the Whipple procedure is a carefully planned two-phase operation. First, removing the pancreas head and the nearby organs and then reconstructing the digestive system with three joints. It's technically one of the most complex surgeries, but also the one that gives patients the best hope for survival. If you or a loved one has been advised the Whipple surgery, remember, it should be done at a specialized, high volume center by an experienced team. If you found this video helpful, please share it. And don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned for more clear, patient-friendly explanations on pancreatic, liver and bile duct cancer care. Together, knowledge reduces fear and builds confidence.